New week. We they come in hard. Um, it's been a while since we did this. Uh, the games review, but today we are back for this one. My name is Slimo. Yeah, welcome to Pro I'm NBA. Back like backpack. Chali, Chali, Chali. That, but we don't hear you. We don't <laughs> hear you. <laughs> Today I'm here with George. Hey, see you. Your team loser. I forget your name. Oh, I'm here with Teddy or Selsu and George hey. for some interesting games. They review. You say we know they do on plenty, but some games they if you come, you know, say yeah, you for do over the weekend. It was NBA Rivals weekend. The way it started, in fact, when we we're coming here today, we we're supposed to start with something, but some MVP sell out. So we we'll go start with them. Joel and Bead, when the Nuggets were supposed to play um the Sixers in Denver, we we're expecting to see the MVP matchup and Bead and Jokic. But it turns out and Bead say he get left knee soreness. So this is that four straight years in Denver exactly. where Embiid no go play. Get the altitude. <laughs> oh no, but you know, but he, he like that thing too much. He if, like that thing too much. If you if you talk, say he did duck it be like us. The time they come feeling, nuggets come feeling. He played and then he, he dominated. Played, he has not played in Denver for four years. Yo, Chale, yo, the the attitude they say play. you know go feel brief for there. He no one go die for that side. <laughs> Chale, nah, nah, like, nah, nah, he's an African. Let's go out there, bro. He's an African. Right 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 the, 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 the way he did duck some of the games where he did play. It be strategic. But relax. The person you say he did duck, then can't feel give him 40. You the bar. We run now. Where the Where the is too much? With an injury history, safe. Right now, they preserve him for the big players. Bro, some of the some of the injuries are are not even like real injuries. He's just sitting out. You know, be real. So he let me go. Let's go. You do medicine. You do medicine. You do medicine. Where your certificates be? Right, right, right. I thought they do too much, but that was how NBA rivals week started. Wanted to start with the MVP rivals, Embiid and Jokic. Even though we're disappointed, I think the Sixers really gave up a good fight. But let's get to serious business. Hmm. The Kotomri boys, the boys who said they're number one in the East, the best team in the NBA, the team with the best record, best defensive team, best offensive team. They get everything. And then hey, my, Clippers, get everything my, my Clippers came to town. We went to uh, the Boston Celtics home, the right. TD Garden, and absolutely gave them a thrashing. Beating them, in fact, emptying our roster in the third quarter. George, I want to start with you because you're the Clipper fan. I know so you enjoy it. Oh, me, self, I know they feel about well, sick of this guy. I for count. <laughs> Celtics, Celtics, Clippers. Everybody anticipates it. it be potential NBA Finals matchup. How you see the game and why do you think the Clippers want to win? And um, you see, the last time they came to crypto, they they them blow we out. So and we tell them say what's no day. It was like we are going to TD to go and like have our revenge. Mm -hmm. But you see, I always say this: if you really want to um, cement your name or you really want to put out your your name that you are a top contender this season. These are some of the matches you are supposed to be winning and you are supposed to be winning them in good style. You could clearly see that we didn't win with our offense. It was because of our defense. We were able to hold their, their, their main shooters and they were shooting Sapa. And with the Boston Celtics, I've always said their weakness is the fact that if you can hold them to, to force them to shoot some of their threes and they are missing and capitalize on those possessions, then you always have a chance to, what, to beat them. And this is what I want my Clippers to be doing. In as much as our offense were not really great because you could, you could, you could give an excuse that we we're playing a back-to-back -back, um, from Toronto and we have Paul George also like playing through some, through some injury, injuries. Yeah. We, have, we have a way of winning our games and that is how... I want us to be. And, and, and I said here that we are going to be the number two seed. <laughs> hey, this is your statement. win the Larry <laughs> brand. He go choke soon. He go, he choke, go choke soon. Go choke your, soon. your time will come. Teddy, they say he get a lot so, of So, with the, with the Boston Celtics, self-acclaimed best team in the league, they, for claim, say, they the numbers, always, the numbers show. What's they, always, they always win the Larry O'Brien on the ESPN board. <laughs> we, all, we will come for you this season. And this season, if you don't win, you people, you should forget any Larry This is of and Jalen Brown. Charlie, Ose Usu, you see this game, eh, um, I think the Celtics and the Clippers, every time they play, there's always the argument of who's better, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, or Kawhi Leonard, Paul George. What did you see and what did you make of that game? I think um, Kawhi and Paul George are the better duo as of right now. Not, not because of maybe standings or anything, they are just the better duo as far as basketball abilities are concerned. But my biggest takeaway from the game is the Celtics, they have a very poor short diet. Everything or majority of their short attempts comes from outside. They have they run few post-up touches. They don't they don't play too well in the mid-range. They don't get to the rim. Yesterday, I mean the game they played, the Clippers and Celtics, they both struggled from outside. But yeah, what won the Clippers the game was they were physical. They got to the free throw line, they got to the mid-range areas, and then they were killing it. Whereas the Celtics, everything comes from outside. And the Clippers were coming off an end of a back-to-back. -back, I mean back-to-back -back road games. Mm -hmm. And Celtics were home, they were healthy and everything. I was expecting them to come out with some kind of fire or energy. Yeah, energy. But they came out, they didn't come out too well and then they struggled throughout and then they lost. But then my biggest concern is with their coaching and then their short diet. 
I feel like Mazula is not doing enough to get the Celtics quality shot. I've see, I see, I seen a lot of Celtics complain about Mazula. Now, Teddy, Charlie, your Celtics, I think maybe the excuse is Porzingis no play. But uh, what's your biggest takeaway from that? Do you think, is it, is it because Porzingis didn't play? That's why you guys lost. Um, mainly that's because mostly he sets the tone on, on offense for us in terms of shooting. And then we, we, we shot poorly on threes and then we kept on shooting badly. And you see, I've been saying this because when... When one strategy is not working, there should be another strategy in place that should replace that one which is not working. So we're shooting, it wasn't working. So are you telling me we can we can we cannot run a Hofford and Tatum pick and rolls or pick and pop? We can not Hofford is old now. He can't be running those. No, no, at least pick and pop for 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 both of them no, is it's fine. Too much, it's too um much. Maybe Drew Holiday and White uh, pick and pop with with Tatum, or you can't tell me you can't have um, Jason Tatum in the post in the post up having having a good we day. We put Tatum in hell. No, I was no, no, no. You see, you see, it's the, it's the attempt. It's the, it's the attempt that actually shows that that you have different strategies. But there was nothing. It was just you shooting the whole time. And for the Clippers, they had uh, Plumbly in the in the high drop. And so when we blow by them, the weak side defender mostly was Kawhi. And then he comes in, he slides into the paint and then he helps. And, it, and see, it, it, it felt like anytime, anytime it was Kawhi, it was a stop on our drives, on when maybe we get dunks. And because we're shooting bad, when we get into the paint and then the weak side defender comes and then we swing to the corner, we are not, we are not making the shots because we are not shooting good. Clearly, this season, any, any big match where, where Porzingis didn't play, we lost. Against Warriors, we lost. Against this game, we lose. So it's so clear that when he's not in the game, our, our offense is stifled in a sense where it's not fluid. So we need Porzingis. This is if he hurts in any and, series and, in the, and, 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 in and the to, playoffs, to we are done. something with the Clippers. Most of the times, we go small. But the fact that we, we put out that, that, that composure and resilience on defense, I think, I think it's a positive. And, and I think for, for Ty Lue, it was a well coached game on defense, transition defense. In fact, during preseason, he said he wanted the Clippers to play fast. But even sometimes with Westbrook now on the floor, they played fast. So yeah, incredible win for the Los Angeles Clippers. They say Porzingis no play, which we know Bex. Zubax no play. We didn't oh, come out with, say, it, Zubak with say, a full set. Hey, 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 please, please, hey, please, please. He doesn't talk like saying some Michael Jordan. The average, average career numbers please, this year. Career numbers. That be in career numbers. No be I just, I just, I just, I just wish we'll meet them in the in the final. Wish. Second round is your we, best. We, we Relax. Will there. We say that Second round is your best. Relax. <laughs> now, interestingly, NBA Rivals Week every year we have to see the never-ending matchup of LeBron James and Stephen Curry. And this year, it lived to the hype once again. Golden State Warriors, Los Angeles Lakers. I think when these two meet, they always give us a showdown. I'll be starting with Teddy on this one now. LeBron James. As old as he is, still putting up great numbers. I think 36 and 20 rebounds or so. How impressed were you with that Lakers victory? Yeah, after the game, I tweeted that um, Steph and LeBron are the greatest gift to basketball ever. And it's so true. Looking at their age and the time we are in now, it's, 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 it's a new generation, but then they are still dominating. And it's, it was so amazing to see such beautiful basketball from them. Two OTs at this time. It's so amazing. And then you see, I'm so happy um, you see, most people bash Devin Ham for some of his um, coaching strategies, but then we should give props to him because even though um, Wood played uh, limited minutes with AD, it just they just put him in the game just to scream, you guys are too small for us. Because now, Draymond Green has to be on AD and then someone has to think of Wood and then they kept on going in the paint. I'll give props to Draymond because he actually tried in, with defending AD. It was mostly in the in the low drop, and whenever maybe AD switched to uh, maybe the outside the three point line, he gets there and he slides back to help because because of size. It's it's so it's so amazing how the Warriors are so bad in size, and then getting into the into the into the playoffs, this this is going to worry them because now size is so important. If you meet a team like Denver, it's it's going to worry. Or, if you team, meet a team like. OKC, it's even, even Minnesota is going to worry. So for the Warriors, size was so important for them. And then Vanderbilt. We've been bashing Vanderbilt for so long. And then I'm happy that Vilham has had him doing other things. He's now a screener. And then he stands in the corner like he, he, he's waiting for a pass to come. And then he gets into the paint. Because once, you see, when you are guarding a player in the corner and you are a weak side defender, you need to slide into the paint to, to, to defend. And then now you lose focus on this guy because you are ball watching or sometimes you fall asleep and then he cuts in. 
And then that was an amazing performance from Vanderbilt. Exactly. I think the Lakers really did well. Now, this is the first time we've seen LeBron James and Stephen Curry go into double, double overtime. How impressed were you with Stephen Curry's performance and, of course, LeBron James? Oh, I was very impressed because those two always give us an all-time classic. Anytime they square off, be it regular season, the finals, or even in the all-star game, every time they put up very good numbers. So, I, it wasn't really about being impressed. I just had to just appreciate what they were doing because they've been doing this for so long. But my biggest takeaway from this game was Vanderbilt's aggressiveness. He's been looking for his shots lately. We've been bashing him for him just being a one-dimensional player, just plays defense. But now he's looking for his shots. He's getting lobs. He's getting backdoor cuts. He's shooting threes. He's doing a lot. Flash. And on the other hand, I've never seen a player play his way out of a tree like D'Angelo Russell has. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. past few his years. Body, his body has shot up yeah. like, like massively. He's, he's looking like he's nearly really sell out too. And he's he, been, he's been playing well. Nearly like, sell out. He, he shot the, 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 the last minute. Yeah. That, yeah. that transition to that. It was so amazing. That's what I'm saying. Stopping on the dime. So, because he was missing some, some, some crunch time shots. Yeah. Then, and but, he, but George, when you speak of the Golden State Warriors, I think... This year, a lot of people want to write them off as maybe the team not to be um, in the playoffs when it comes to crown time. But some of these games just remind us that they've got the potential. Do you think they've got the potential with this game? Oh, yes. I, I was excited because this match had, had to go down to the wire. We had double overtimes. And I saw two positives from the... Uh, I saw positives from both teams. When you look at the Lakers, uh, the Warriors side, the, the, that defensive resurgence from Demongu was absolutely class. Mm. We always sit here and tell you, we always sit here and say that he's vital to what they do. When you look at what he does for the team, he sets the tone on defense and offers to, he runs plays, coming up the double handoffs and attacking the women's court. He was all over the place, frustrating Anthony Davis. And, and I think that's a positive. So when, when, when we cannot just write them off. They still have a chance of making it to the playoffs, but it's going to be difficult for like them to make it to the conference finals or even the finals. But the Lakers, how many times do you see Anthony Davis struggle to walk down the locker room and come back and play the end of the fourth quarter yeah. and go this to the really overtime? It. It, it, it's totally unheard of. And that is all we call Anthony Davis for. And he's and, and that is a big positive. Because if 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 matches like this, he's he's still injured and he still plays, then yes, I think they also have a chance of making it to the playoffs and even maybe the conference final. Because <laughs> this <laughs> you words from you like this. I don't they believe. I don't they believe. How, where did I don't they believe. I don't they believe. You, you finish, finish this to sure. end. See LeBron James. There will be no player to grace basketball to grace the Charlie, NBA. Charlie, 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 like Charlie, Charlie. LeBron James. Every, every, I don't say. I don't say. I don't say. I don't say. So you can't tell. Like I don't know. If if how many players do this? This is a thirty nine year old guy. He's he's he'll be forty this year. He's, and, and, and he's playing so well, bro. He finished the whole game. He played about 48 minutes. He, he granted an interview and, he, and, he, and, and, and it was like, he's not gassed out. He oh. still has the energy. He's, 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 the ones keep him going. You, you get, get it. 36 points, 20 it's rebounds. Good. That's a triple-double, bro. It's, That's double-double, double-double. Triple double. double. He had triple double. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. And, 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 and absolutely class. You see, when you watch LeBron James, He's, he's an embodiment of greatness, an embodiment of efficiency. And like, Tali, you, hey, Le Pia, you, Tali, Tali, you go Tali, do LeBron Pierre. He's, 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 he's just what, a boot. What a great weekend from the NBA. I think uh, everybody did enjoy the games. Rivals weekend definitely brought out the best in some of the games. We saw, of course, LeBron James, Stephen Curry masterclass. We saw Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown show us that. They are still the iPhone 11 to the iPhone 11 Pro Max of Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> that's just the, the experience level of those two. Wait, 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 iPhone 11. Maybe we have iPhone 20. We know we know Camo. There is, there is, but, but enjoyable games. What do you think so far for the NBA season? Did you enjoy the Rivals weekend? That's how the games went down. That's how we're closing this one out. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. More content coming on Pro Basketball. We are out for this one. <laughs>